KTM 690 SMCR. Review Hilariously Entertaining Supermoto. Supermoto isn't dead. But unless you have a cart track in your back garden, or you happen to live in the Alps, extracting the best from the KTM 690 SMCR will be tricky. There's very little to moan about, except the gearbox, which is nothing new to these LC4S. We experienced plenty of false neutrals and not even the excellent Quickshifter Plus system could mask this. But you can almost forget about these trivialities. The KTM 690 SMCR is an absolute riot to ride at any speed and the electronics have done nothing to dilute its rawness. 2019 sees the latest generation LC4 motor slotted into a tweaked chassis, with the added bonus of electronic rider aids and a quickshifter slash blipper, and KTM claim 65% of the bike is all new. Fast forward to 2021 and the firm announced updates for both the SMCR and its Enduro R brother. Ride quality and brakes. I'd be lying if I said the frame's revised flex properties and tweaked geometry felt particularly tangible, but there's no denying the 2019 model feels slightly sharper than the previous incarnation. This is the ultimate road scalpel, a sublime mix of water boatman agility and assured stability that brings endless smiles and accommodates a range of riding styles. Engine KTM and sister company Husqvarna are the only manufacturer genuinely persisting with single-cylinder technology, and huge amounts of work has gone into making the LC4 engine more usable and less vibey. A second balancer shaft has been added, which has significantly reduced vibes and made the whole ride far smoother. Anything just above idle is a chain-clattering mess, as you'd expect from a monopot, but the rest of the delivery is silky, enthralling and highly addictive. Reliability and Build Quality our KTM 690 SMC our owner's reviews don't indicate anything to be concerned about. MCN's Bruce Dunn spoke to KTM mechanic, Jason Jones, about the previous machine about whether the 690 SMC R raises any reliability concerns. He said, as far as reliability goes they are generally good. Most owners understand the nature of the engine, it's highly tuned single-cylinder four-stroke, so it needs to be serviced correctly. This includes using the correct grade and type of synthetic oil. Any engine problems that surface can often be traced to poor maintenance routines or owner neglect. For example, it's not a mildly tuned CB500 that would probably go for years without the oil being checked. The 690 is a high-performance bike and needs looking after. Value versus Rivals Yes, the SMCR is a focused supermoto, but for a bike that costs nearly 9,000 pounds, it'd be nice to peruse a dash that doesn't look like it's been hiding in a parts bin since the 1980s. Equipment Practicality isn't usually a noun associated with Supermoto, or KTM for that matter, but by managing to add an extra 1.5 liters to the fuel capacity, the SMCR has certainly become a tad more practical, even if it is a super thirsty Supermoto. As before, the fuel tank is a load-bearing part of the chassis, so there's no subframe as such. And there's even a USB socket to charge phones and other devices. What's next? Heated grips? Some would argue the new SMCR is just a rebadged, and uglier, Husqvarna 701, and they're not a million miles away.